Welcome back to Daytime Live. Now, joining us via Skype is our brother. We kind of know. Um, jo <laughs> hey, brother, man. Man. Yes, man. Welcome, sir. Greetings, people. Greetings, massive. Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. So, why do you look so? <laughs> no wonder why, why you look like that. Joel, you, you're eccentric. You know Joel, you, Joel <laughs> you, look like, you look like your background. Yeah. You got to get into the nature of it, brother. I have, have a plant, I'm a desk. Somebody soon, have, somebody soon plant you. What kind of plant that? <laughs> Me, um, mommy! Hi, Miss Cotton and Lignum Vitae, something. <laughs> so, what's a lignum vitae? All right, so, so, so you have a whole lignum vitae in, you know what? Big up, Joel, big up, yes. <laughs> big up, big up, Joel. We never know what we said to you, but we don't know that. How are you coping with the pandemic, Bridget? Well, you know, brother, in all honesty, you know, say, um, as a creative person, this kind of situation really put a lot of us to the test. So you start come up with, like, concepts. You start think out of the box. As a marketer as well, it really um, have me kind of pushing because with work as well, I work in digital. So there's a lot of heavy demands right now from us in terms of, you know, trying to drive some sales, trying to come up with some concepts and ideas and stuff like that. But, you know, say, at the end of the day, we can't really just focus on work. We have to find things to balance out and um, you know, get some personal projects done as well and things. Um, one of the things that I've been doing is, you know, not, not things that go up on social media, almost every night somebody live. But yeah. what I've been doing is using that platform to kind of connect with my younger audience because I know that they kind of struggle through this situation. People are losing jobs and kind of create a space where I kind of have some discussions with some people who are experiencing the same thing. But, um, you know, offering some solutions and things that they can learn with this. There's a little movement we have called Remote Talk. Can we talk remotely? Remote. Duffy, <laughs> you can put that in the book. Um, <laughs> no, no, Joel, I won't put it in the book. <laughs> <laughs> the book is hiding. <laughs> so it's a nice little concept, kind of just pulling together uh, my friends and pulling together young followers. It's been really good because the feedback from I get from people saying, boy, Joel, they're really using this as an opportunity to help us. Um, so it's really a dope, you know, it's really a dope um, kind of movement and it's really, it, it's really putting, putting some positives um, out there. Uh, you know, we have some entertainment going on or you have the online party, them all sort of excitement. But it's important for you to kind of use this time to try to up your digital learning as well. So there's a lot that's going on and that's how I've been coping. You have labeled, you have branded yourself the corporate eccentric. Yes, sir. Why? <laughs> That's so, oh, hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Come on, boy. We're going with it. Other words. Me not another word for describing. I think a part of my journey is, um, which is something that I want to make sure so I leave with everybody before you know we interview done. But a part of my journey is a lot of times you look on personal branding and building yourself and building your you know professional development and everything along that line. And sometimes you feel like there's only a company or somebody famous that have to do stuff like that. Um, everybody needs to understand that they're a personal brand and the first thing that you need to do is to identify what exactly it is that represents you, what you like, what you, what you aspire to be, what people I identify you as. And it kind of helps with that journey there. For me, you know, being eccentric is always, has always been in my blood, in my veins. It come out on the show. I know everybody, I know every program allow you to come from them, 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 them station that, you know, some of the pants that me wear and, yeah. and the hair color that me used to have and all of that thing there. But it's just, that's just my personal brand, you know what I mean? And I couldn't find a, another perfect word that kind of capture everything because it's just this kind of difference. You know, I've always been different. I've always um, had, you know, that kind of edge. And <clears throat> I mean, I couldn't find another word, honestly. It was just such a random thing too. Uh, so like how you mentioned personal brand now, or, or, uh, yes, you, mentioned, you mentioned remote talk. Um, tell us a little uh -huh. bit more about that. Go a little bit more in depth with that. Uh, it's just pretty much um, a concept where I just have some you know, industry experts coming on. So I had a couple of friends who, one of my friends, Ashley, were connected on LinkedIn. By the way, everybody needs to get on LinkedIn. Um, she, you know, she's a personal brand. She, she does brand strategy and she came on to talk about personal branding with us. Um, another bridge of mine, Mark, he's a spiritual marketer. So he puts a lot of Christianity and spirituality into his marketing. Very good guy. My other friend, um, Tristan, came and talked about career strategy, resume writing. So it's really pulling together some of, my, some of the people from my network to kind of come on and, and share 
insights as to what's going on. I had Yannick Page in the first phase of it. I had Dottie Berry talking about creativity. I had one of my other friends, Jenny, from over St. Lucia. I says also people across borders as well because I do as I get, as, as Mr. McKenna different, so I'm not really want I love, I love my locals, but I also have international people. Eh? And I just feel like learning supposed to. Sometimes we're kind of in this um, very, you know, small capsule about what learning should look like. And if you can kind of get people to come on and share experiences, um, it's kind of really good to bring that together. So that's what really remote talk is. And I really hope to continue it after. But definitely have to take a rest now because, you know, when you pour positivity all the time, you have to refuel. Um, so that's something that I, that I hope to continue because it's a good move. It's a good vibe. You talk about personal development. Now, give us some tips mm -hmm. when, when it is you're, you're jumping on that path. Yeah, man. Odessa, Odessa, that cost me say home. I have um, fancy computer. So, see the tips them here now. Come have them on my laptop. Right. See the, you, see, you see all the keys? Yeah. First things <laughs> first. I want, everybody, I want everybody to understand that you have to know your value proposition. Right, and when I say value proposition, I mean what do you represent? What are you? Duffy already established people value proposition, right? Duffy is an idiot. So, and Duffy, Duffy value proposition alone, if you make money, you get what I mean? I mean, Duffy, you're a comedian. Sorry, sir. We can't listen, you know, coming up on the show. Um, but, <laughs> all right, you know, that's okay, Joel, all you right. Have to you have to develop that kind of thing because what is it about you that you know people should be captivated towards? People stop, people stop looking for your space value. People want to know what exactly it is that you can contribute to my development. Where I come with. So even this influencer thing as well. A lot of influencers right now stress out because all them could do a go somewhere and pause. Da, and take da, one da, 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 versus da. persons who have been doing micro influencing who are you know Odessa with our podcast. Big up yourself, Odessa, one of the best producers. Them Odessa with our podcast who can continue that because she has established herself as somebody who is in the media sphere and is versed on so many different things. What is your value proposition? And once you can do that, you can kind of start now um, lay out certain things such as you know your 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 becoming a trusted source for relevant information and content, maintaining, start building your database, start practicing networking, understanding what kind of industry you are operating but I don't want to get into all of that because the first thing everybody needs to do is to find and identify your value proposition. Where you all come with? You all come with carelessness? All right, if you all come with carelessness, how you going to monetize the carelessness? Because I know every content out there is positive content. You have some idiot I come up with some things and they still make money. Thank right? you, sir. Yes. Thank so you, sir. Say that. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> 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 you have to come up, you have to identify that and kind of start work from there. And it's a very, it's a very um, interesting concept because they can't, everything boils down to you as, a, and as an individual and you can't wait for nobody else to do that. And, and, and you see, once you start pulling that together, you start work through the noise that exists, you start work through the criticism and people need to understand there's a difference between criticism and negativity. Criticism can help. Right. Um, so all them things that kind of you know come together and pull together, you can find out kind of not find this thing. But you can't do all that. You can't do none of that unless you know what you're about and what you're representing. So look here, Joel. After the pandemic, what's the first thing you're going to do? Mega beach. <laughs> in fact, in fact, me and Trisha, me, me and Trisha that talked two days ago. Trisha sent one picture from our birth night. Yeah, yeah. But if you know Trisha, Trisha is Craig's wife. My, my, my extended family. So, oh, you're, um, you're talking with the friend's <laughs> wife a couple nights ago. She messaged me one throwback picture when we did our party down. Uh, where place them? Uh, Who was that? Like? Oh, one of the places. Ribbies. And Trisha is like throwback to the throw oh, that was mine. times. The first thing I want to do, bro, I want to go to the beach. Yeah, that's the and first thing I want to do. one big link up with all of my friends and because I miss you guys. Sanik. Um, all I know, you know, what they're supposed to do, we link up before the pandemic and we delay, delay, we not delay no more. We not, we not take outside for granted anymore. There are so many things that I wanted to do in Jamaica as well, like the different hidden spots. Then I tell Odessa already, so we need to go for a drink. But first, first things first, beach. Happy beach. for the beach. Happy, yeah. happy, happy. The yeah, same thing Trisha said for real. Yeah, man, trust me. And don't wear that shirt. Scuba diving thing there again. And don't wear that shirt, though. Got the beach? And the perfect shirt is for the beach, brother. We are talking about. Alright, wash it, though. Wash it, wash it. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, respect, Papa. Big up yourself. Stay safe. Yeah, man. Cool. Blessings, yeah, brother. Man. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> Listen. <I'm> definitely. <laughs> Got you, man. Joel can. Are you sure you want him to drop in? Nah. Not really. Sure. <laughs> Joel, you're always a member of the family still. So drop in whenever you have updates. And <laughs> Knock first, though. Yeah. Please remember to check on your loved ones and 
just extend the support as a community. We can do this, we can survive this together. Straight.